Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. We are in Skagway right now. We just arrived and we are ready to go on our first excursion of this Alaskan trip. So keep watching you guys. We are so excited. Seven weeks in Skagway in the coldest winter time. No more broke than usual, but I never spent what was not mine. Working for the railroad, sometimes play guitar in the bars. Sleeping when it suited me, till I learned to count the stars. Seven days of darkness, seven days of midnight and dusk. Wind out on the glaciers, colder than a wild walrus tusk. Seven days of darkness, seven days of fire in her eyes. Warmness to the marrow, burning out these wild northern lights. This town was built by gamblers and merchants, brave and noble men. years later, a man by the name of George Washington Carmack, based on nothing but tall tales, wives' tales, and a hunch, went made his way up to the Klondike region. He was convinced that the earth was encrusted in a belt of gold. Well, of course that's not true, but he did find gold anyway in the Klondike River. This is three years into this great panic, so newspapers all over the world got sent around, and people got their hands on a news line that read, Gold, gold, gold in the Klondike. And you can imagine, everyone wanted to strike it rich, save their families, save their business, save the banks, save anything. So they made their way here to Skagway, about 100,000 people. We are going to see a red caboose. Uh, now this caboose once served actively in the White Pass rolling stock, but now resides here as a gift to the Forest Service as a hiking cabin. And you can rent it out with uh, five other of your buddies. It's a little bit cramped in there, but it is the cheapest place in town if you are on a budget. Uh, now past the caboose on the right hand side, you will see one of my personal favorite vistas. That is the Denver Valley. Happening at the same time, you will see the train in full motion over the bridge as we cross the east fork of the Skagway River for all you rail fans like myself. And fourth and finally, over your left hand shoulder, once you go from right all the way to the left, behind you you'll see a nice S curve or S line in the Skagway River. Right hand side, Caboose and Denver Valley. Left hand side, train in motion and the Skagway River. Seven days of darkness, seven days of fire in her eyes. Warmness to the marrow, burning out these wild northern lights. Seven days of darkness, seven days of fire in her eyes. Warmness to the marrow, burning out these wild northern lights. That was a super, super fun train ride and it was so beautiful, breathtaking scenery. Oh my gosh, awesome. And check things out, maybe go grab something to eat here and purchase some stuff, I don't know, we'll see. 
so beautiful out here. Where you going? Seven weeks in Skagway in the coldest winter time. No more broke than usual, but I never spent what was not mine. Working for the railroad, sometimes play guitar in the bar. Sleeping when it suited me Till I learned to count the stars Seven days of darkness Seven days of midnight and dusk Alright, so we're walking around doing some shopping and it starts raining on us which is not a surprise here in Alaska, I guess. That's what they're saying. Whew. Are you liking it so far? Yeah. Go to the bread onion, get something to eat. All right, we're gonna go eat something. Ah, it's windy. I still haven't seen a bear. Ooh. Off of the track, light green. I don't know. Are there lights here? <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Never been here before. <laughs> We got the Lavender French 75. Got some yummy nachos and some yummy chili. Is it good? Mm. Nice and warm. Nice and warm. Can't wait to dig into these. If anyone else that would like to join, we're going to do a brothel tour here in the next two minutes. So if you'd like to join me upstairs, it's just $10 for 20 minutes. Quite the deal, quite the ride. And you won't go home empty-handed. No, 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 no. You will go home with your very own suit. really fun and the food was pretty good that drink she gave me was really strong and I hadn't eaten so I got a little bit of a bus climb blueberry mountain swim inlets and laugh out with the seals seven days of darkness seven days of midnight and dusk wind out on the glaciers colder than a wild walrus tusk Seven days of darkness, seven days of fire in her eyes. Warmness to the marrow, burning out these wild northern lights. Seven days of darkness. So far, I'm, I've only been to Skagway. We have two more ports to stop at, and this is just gorgeous. It's beautiful. I get very excited when I see local kids like riding their bikes and stuff. And Thomas reminds me that we're not like in another country, we're still in the United States. But it's Alaska. If you haven't been to Alaska, you gotta come to Alaska and you'll get excited too because it's so beautiful. I get excited. And I'm even more excited because there's so much bear stuff. A lot of bear stuff. All right, so we're heading back to the ship. There's not too much to do here in Skagway right now. It's raining, a lot of places are cold. We already did a little bit of shopping and so now we're gonna go get nice and warm because it's cold out here.
I can only imagine how gorgeous it looks around Christmas time when it snows and with every home decorated with lights and stuff. Oh man, I bet it looks gorgeous. Such a beautiful town. I think our next stop is, what's our next stop? Huh? Juneau. We're gonna go to Juneau, Alaska and then to Ketchikan, Alaska. And there, we're going on a bear watching tour, which I'm super excited about. Ketchikan, right? Yeah, Ketchikan, bear watching tour on a boat, because we don't want to get anywhere close to them. So glad I wore my rain boots. All right, guys, see you guys on the ship because I'm going to put my camera away. It's raining hard. All right, so we went on a little adventure already. We came through this way that we thought was back to the ship and it wasn't. So now we have to go all the way around the block to back where we came from. <laughs> well, yeah. We got rugs to know we're alive. It's good. okay. It's beautiful. We're we're enjoying it. Yep. I'm loving it. The dock right here, or through the boat place? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Cut right through there. The dry dock. Oh. <laughs> No, We're soft. <laughs> We're tourists for sure. Thank you. Ah, oh, sweet little lady helped us out. We thought we knew where we were going, but we're not. Check this out. We're only 15 miles away from the Canadian border. Pretty darn cool. All right, so that lady told us to take a shortcut through here, and hopefully they would let us get across. So we're hoping. But you know what? It's okay. I'm enjoying every minute of it. It's gorgeous. I'm soaked, but it's gorgeous. To the marrow, burning out these wild northern lights. All right, so this place here, they said it was a pretty good uh, seafood restaurant, and it's right by the ship. So my husband's uh, holding my umbrella here <laughs> and two old ladies already yelled at him, nice umbrella. One lady said they, were gonna, they weren't going to let him get on the ship dock because he was holding my umbrella because it's pink with polka dots. But everybody's so nice here. Look how gorgeous it is. As we lie back in your fields all right so we made it back to our stateroom nice and warm Skagway was beautiful so so gorgeous got ourselves a drink to warm up ah, cheers now, if you guys haven't been to Alaska make sure you guys put it on your bucket list because it's gorgeous and I'm pretty sure you guys will love it so it looks like almost everyone's on the ship already, but I'm just sitting out here just soaking in the beauty of this place. So pretty. It's still raining. Look at all that green. Oh my gosh. 